What up, everybody? It's your boy. Let us pray. I hope you're having a blessed and a prosperous day, man. Um, as you see, we got another episode for you. This episode is Dub Nation Debate. Um, first of all, look, smash that like and subscribe button for your boy. Um, like I said, I got my uh, transportation issue uh, fixed. Um, we're going to be hitting you with these sports talk videos. Um, they're going to be coming fast and furious, y'all. Uh, Dub Nation Debate, that's a series I haven't been on in a minute. But basketball is starting next month. Like, I completely forgot. Um, the Warriors, of course, my squad, uh, Golden State, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't going nowhere. Uh, just because um, <clears throat> that team in L.A., uh, won the championship. Warriors ain't going nowhere. I know what y'all saying. Clay Thompson. Um, Clay's out. Clay's out, man. Mama name him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. Uh, game six, Clay. The toaster. Whatever you want to call him. 37 points in one quarter. Uh, I almost call him like the Terminator because he sometimes he have no emotion. The boy just goes out there and just hits you with the... That's all you... He hits you with that and he gives you solid defense for 48 minutes. I mean, there's nobody else like him in the NBA. There's nobody else like Klay Thompson in the NBA who can shoot your eyes out and lock you up on defense like that. There's nobody else. So, no, you can't replace a Klay Thompson. Uh, that's obvious, man. Uh, I'm not saying that Klay, uh, the Warriors ain't going to miss Klay because, man, we're going to miss Klay so much. You saw how much we missed him last season. Um, but what happens with that? Warriors have the worst record in the league. Uh, don't win the lottery, but they come up with the number two draft pick. They select the big man out of Memphis, James Wiseman. I think that pick was the ideal pick for the Warriors. Um, you know, people talking about LaMelo. Uh, obviously, Edwards went first. Uh, talking about Obi, Obi Tompkin. Uh, talking about making a trade out of number two because they don't like the, the uh, selections. I think this kid, Wiseman, can be special. Um, Seven-footer. Really didn't get a chance to groom his game in college much. Uh, so he's still kind of like a high schooler. Uh, just with the extra time to uh, freaking hone his game and work on his game. He's just been working on his game for like the last 10 months. He's been working on his game. I mean, getting stronger, uh, shooting, working on his moves, post moves. Um, he's had a lot of time to just almost be a pro before he was a pro. He just had time to practice it to get better. So I am very, very interested to see how this young man looks uh, you know, you can't really judge by preseason, but I want to see how he looks. I want to see if he looks fluid out there, if he looks confident, if he looks comfortable. Um, I, I just want to see what the kid looks like because I think he is going to be, uh, for the lack of a better term, a godsend for the Warriors. Having a big man who is uh, athletic, who can run and block shots and rim run, uh, dunk the ball, catch alley-oops, is a luxury that a lot of teams don't have, okay? A lot of teams don't have a young guy who can run up and down the court. Look at what look at what Bam Adebayo did for uh, Miami Heat. He's 6'9", right? He's 6'9". Oh, and if y'all say him, man, your boy let us pray. Eyebrows look different. I'm dating someone, and she was like, bruh, I love you, but you got to take care of that unibrow that, uh, that you got. Uh, let me hook you up. So she hooked up my eyebrows, y'all. Let me know what you think about the eyebrows. But anyway, um, Bam Adebayo, what he did for Miami, and then look at what James Wiseman can do for Steph Curry. He can open up the floor for Steph again. Um, he can give you a threat. Alley-oop, a vertical threat, right? Um, Warriors haven't had that in a while since Bogan. Don't get me wrong, Marquise Chris, I mean, he did 
a decent job, but when you have a bona fide seven one center who can rise above anyone else, and then we got to see how he plays defensively, but he was really good defensively uh, in his few games in college, blocking shots all over the place. Uh, so if he has that, you know, just that knack for timing on blocking shots, man, it's going to be a different Warriors team for the better, right? Uh, having someone that can protect the rim, having someone that can guard the rim, uh, alter shots, block shots. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, having someone who can freaking uh, give you a little bit of post game. Um, if the clock's running down, you can throw it down in the post. He can hopefully give you uh, some buckets down there. Or pick and roll. Pick and roll, uh, alley oop, uh, set you some bigger more solid screens um, than what you've been getting in the past few years. Um, yeah, I, th I just think it's going to be amazing. Um, so that's one aspect of what we're going to talk about, Dub Nation Debate. Um, talk about whatever you want to talk about uh, in the comment section. If you want me to address an another topic, uh, put it in the chat. I will absolutely try to address it the next day unless there's just uh, multiple things. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. But, um, yeah, whatever topic you want me to talk about, Dub Nation Debate, um, doesn't necessarily have to be about the Warriors only. It could be about basketball in general. It could be about the NBA. Um, it could be about football. Uh, I do have a, a Falcons Talk series. I'm going to do a video right after this for Falcons Talk. Um, and I do game as well. So I'm on Ultimate Team. I, you know, I created a team uh, about a week, a little over a week ago. And, um, I got that team going. I'm trying to, you know, upgrade. I'm at an 86 right now. So I'm trying to get up to a 90 and then by the end of the week, hopefully. Um, maybe do a couple, uh, grind some solos and try to get some players out of that. But Dub Nation Debate, man, we back. Uh, the season is starting. Uh, it's December 1st, if you didn't know. I woke up and I looked at my phone and it said December 1st. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it was December 1st. But, um, season starting in a couple weeks so uh, what are the other moves the Warriors made in the offseason uh, man made a trade for Kelly Oubre uh, uh, very uh, what do you want to say kind of like a flamboyant type of player very passionate very emotional Kelly Oubre always trying to dunk on somebody that's what I've been looking at in this highlight always trying to dunk on somebody Kelly Oubre then you want to flex afterwards <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, hey, I got no problem with that, Kelly Oubre. You know, uh, Warriors have been lacking a little bit of uh, athleticism over the past uh, couple uh, years. Uh, of course, we had KD, you know, before that. But um, that dude's just a freak of nature. But uh, Kelly Oubre brings some, uh, he brings some toughness. He brings some more passion uh, along with, you know, you got Draymond. Now you got Kelly Oubre with the passion. Um, it's going to be interesting to see those guys together, um, how they can uh, coexist, um, how Kelly Oubre fits in. He's a he's a wing, so he can play a small forward. He can guard uh, the one, the two, and the three, um, and even sometimes the four, actually. So uh, he's very versatile as a player, very versatile as a defender. Um, his defense has gotten better over the years. You know, he I believe he's drafted by Washington. And he had a stop in uh, Phoenix most recently. And now he is a Golden State Warrior. He comes in not to replace Clay because he can't replace Clay, um, but he comes in to uh, man give the Warriors some much-needed punch uh, in the absence of Clay. So uh, Kelly Oubre, I, I mean, I like the pickup. You don't know what the chemistry is going to be like, though. That's what they say you know he's going to come in and do this. No, you don't know that. That's just a, that's just a uh, hypothesis, right? You don't know what he's going to do when he comes in, because they said that about D'Lo, right? D'Angelo Russell, he's gonna come in and do this, he's gonna come in and do that. No, he didn't, because it wasn't, the chemistry wasn't good between him and Steph, it just wasn't. It's like he's another Steph out there, and you can't have two Stephs on the team, I'm sorry, you can't. You can't have two Stephs. You can only have one Steph on the Warriors. Other guy has to uh, be able to play off the ball. You gotta be able to play catch and shoot ball. You gotta be able to play, set the screen, pick and pop. Of course, you're going to get your opportunity sometime, but you can't always need the ball in your hand. You can't be a 
a solitary person who just stands there and uh, doesn't like to move around and stuff. Like D-Lo, he, I mean, D-Lo, D-Lo got game, but he's just like another, don't get me wrong, he's not Steph, but his play style is isolation. I got, I need the ball. I'm gonna dance on you, I'm gonna cross you, I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna try to get to the lane and create. We already got one of those guys, okay? You can't have them both on the team at the same time, I'm trying to do the same thing. It's just, it clashes. So, d didn't work. Uber is not really that type of player. He's more of a slasher. Like I said, he's a three in, uh, he can also hit the three. He's, his three point shot has gotten a lot better. Uh, but he's a, you know, he's a, he's a bona fide slasher. Uh, he's a guy that uh, Warriors definitely, I, I think, are going to, uh, Warrior fans are going to love. Uh, like I say, he brings a lot of passion to the game. Uh, Warriors also picked up a uh, familiar favorite, uh, Kent Bazemore. Uh, he's back in the Warrior uniform. He was a Warrior when he first came out of college. Um, and now he's back, man. Uh, bring some, I mean, he's one of the best wing defenders in the league. Uh, he brings that length. Um, he's gotten better in the shooting. Um, but he's, he's not necessarily a 3 and D guy. He's just, he's, he, he's a defender. He's a defender. I uh, love Bazemore. He plays hard, man. He plays really hard. Um, he can slash to the basket left-handed. I think him and Oubre are both left-handed, which brings, uh, and Wiseman. That's crazy. Um, left-handed players are really crafty. Uh, very hard to defend at times, uh, just because you, you're used to the right-handed. Even right-handed players are ambidextrous. They can go right or left, but it's just something about a lefty who's you know, really good at uh, handling the rock and finishing around the rim. It just gives you that. That's kind of like James Harden. It just, it just gives you the different look that you're not used to seeing with the left hand. Um, so, yeah, good pickup. Uh, Ken Bazemore. Uh, Warriors also uh, apply for the uh, disabled player exception. I believe that frees up about $9 million in cap space. So they can uh, possibly sign someone else. There's rumbles about uh, Marcus Gasol. I don't know if he's been signed yet, actually. Uh, P.J. Tucker. Um, it seems like the Rockets are imploding right now. Um, you know, talking about trading Russell, trading Russell Westbrook. Uh, there was a talk about James Harden going to the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, it seems like uh, that team is finally realizing that they suck. <laughs> All these years talking about uh, we're built to beat the Warriors and yada, yada, yada. They got rid of Chris Paul. Chris Paul goes to OKC and balls out. I can't stand Chris Paul, but he went to OKC and balled out. I, I give him credit, man. He balled out. Um, so now Chris Paul's on the Phoenix Suns, which is crazy. They have a, a young nucleus. This is Dub Nation debate, but, I mean, I still talk basketball. Uh, man, they got Devin Booker. They got uh, the big boy. Uh, can't even think of his name, but I can see his face. I, I can't. Uh, freaking, what's this dude's name? <sighs> Big dude, dark skin. Uh, came from uh, University of Arizona. I know who he is, but I just can't think of his name right now. Uh, it happens once you get uh, over 38, okay? I just can't. DeAndre Ayton. They got him, okay? Um, yeah, they, they got some they got some young guns out there. They got some young guns out there. Um, some nice players. So, the Chris Paul, a floor general with them. And uh, they may be able to make some noise in the playoffs. Um, yeah, they may make it to a second round exit. Lost against the Golden State Warriors. They may make it something like that, Chris Paul. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Warriors also draft. Um, let me see. Nico Mannion. If you don't know about Nico Mannion, he was like the top-rated player coming out of high school a couple years ago. Uh, the boy can ball. The boy can ball. Um, there was talks of maybe he kind of entered a, a sophomore slump a little bit last season in Arizona, University of Arizona, because uh, he came out balling his freshman year. I think, you know, I think it could be some of that. And then also I think just um, – I'm not going to say he's bored. he was bored, but uh, sometimes you just get into a little bit of a slump, a little bit of a rut. Um, but he's still, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a very explosive guy. He doesn't, 
you look at him and you don't think that he's about to do the things that he does to you. But dude has extreme athleticism for his size. Um, he can shoot. He can handle the rock. And he will dunk on you. Like, his, I don't know if he's 6'1 or 6'2, uh, but he will dunk on you. Like, he will rise up and pop that thing on you if you ain't paying attention. So, uh, Nico made a good pickup. Um, I can't remember the other guy's name. Something Jessup. Uh, uh, he played in Boise State. I think he was playing professionally in uh, Australia. He's a long uh, wing three point shooter specialist, basically. Uh, that's what I saw when I saw his highlights. So we got Nico Mannion uh, that will eventually be competing for the backup point guard position. And then you got a, a developmental uh, catch and shoot wing out there that they drafted. And the uh, Justinian, Justinian Jessa, I think that's his name. Um, so yeah, um, two pickups that are you know kind of projects. I think Nico Mannion is a lot less than a project, but um, oh, so he, he's definitely not going to be competing for the backup point guard position because Warriors also picked up uh, Brad Wanamaker. They picked up Brad Wanamaker. Been playing with Boston the past couple seasons. Um, I like his game. He's rugged. He's rough. He uh, plays defense. He don't back down from anybody. I like that. I like that. That's the, type of, that's, the, that's the type of ball that I like, and that's the type of ball that I used to play, right? Just don't back down, man. Don't back down. Get, get in somebody's get on their hip or get in that pocket and man you just you just lock them down you lock them up uh, so yeah about this episode is a lot longer than i wanted it to be but it's your boy let us pray i hope you guys are having a blessed and a prosperous day man much love to you i um we'll be back with a falcons talk episode later uh, like i said let me know what topics you want to talk about um uh, with uh, the Warriors, uh, with Dub Nation, with the upcoming season. What do you think the Warriors record will be this season? Uh, with all the new pickups, um, Oubre, Wanamaker, um, Wiseman as a draft pick, uh, Kent Bazemore. What, 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 do you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking the Warriors record is going to be? Uh, do you think they have a championship run in them? Uh, what do you think the seeding will be, uh, the playoffs? Uh, let me know those things, man. So it's your boy, Let's Pray. I hope you're having a blessed and prosperous day. Much love to you, Dub Nation. Uh, much love to you, all the uh, followers. And thanks for watching this video. Um, like I said, leave commentary in the uh, chat videos that you would like to see me discuss. Um, or maybe even teams. The only team I ain't going to discuss is that team in L.A., okay? I, I won't do that. I won't do that. Uh, but, you know, you want to talk, see me talk about other teams, uh, off-season moves and, you know, kind of the outlook of their team going into the season. You know, I'm willing to do that, man. Uh, whatever the viewers want to see, you know. So, I'm out. Tell those that you love that you love them. Uh, man, keep God first in your life. Uh, speak greatness for yourself each and every morning. Be positive. Watch God do great things for you. Uh, much love and I'm out, y'all. Peace.